Hello and welcome to GRE Math Subject Test Video 3. Our goal is to provide avenues for approaching problems on the test to significantly save you time on the test. Today's problem is the following limit. Evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine 3x minus 1 all over x squared. This is actually taken directly from a practice exam uh, of the GRE Math Subject Test. Okay, so if we take a look at this limit, if we substitute x equals 0 in the numerator and the denominator, you notice you get 0 in both. And the two functions in the numerator and the denominator are functions that are amenable to applying L'Hopital's rules. So uh, a general approach or a common approach to this problem is to go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do that and show you the calculations and what happens in the end and then discuss an avenue for approaching this problem that will significantly save you time and make you less prone to error. Okay, so let's first start with the L'Hopital's rule approach. So we have this limit that we're concerned with, right? And we notice that at x equals 0, we have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. So we'll differentiate the numerator differentiate the denominator, and the limit as x approaches 0 of this function is going to be the same as the limit as x approaches 0 of the derivative of the, the function that is the derivative of the numerator divided by the, the derivative of the denominator. Okay, so if we do that, calculating the derivative of cosine 3x and the derivative of x squared, we get something like this negative 3 sine 3x over 2x. And you notice as x approaches 0, the numerator and denominator both go to 0 as well. So we'll have to apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. If we do that, we'll end up with negative 9 cosine 3x divided by 2. All right, the numerator is a constant, and as x goes to 0, cosine of 3x is 1. And so the answer is negative 9 halves. Okay, so you notice that this process requires a repeated application of L'Hopital's rule. And on an exam like the GRE math subject test, you might be prone to error. Why do I say that? Well, you're differentiating a couple of times, and you have to keep track of negatives. right? So there's a chance that you might slip up, especially considering that you're working on a whole bunch of problems at once. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a method to approach a problem like this that doesn't involve L'Hopital's rule at all right? and might make it um, easier to work with in terms of time where you don't have to go through a relatively laborious process like this. This can be used in general too. Here we have a problem where we apply L'Hopital's rule twice, but imagine you had to apply L'Hopital's rule 14 times. You wouldn't want to do that. Okay, so here's the approach. And the idea is to look back at this limit and think about what's happening as x approaches 0. So the numerator here is cosine 3x minus 1. And what we'll do is approximate cosine 3x by a polynomial. How do we do that? Well, that's essentially what the point of Taylor series are. So first, let's take a look at the expansion of the Taylor series for cosine 3x about x equals 0. So that's 1 minus 3x squared over 2 factorial plus 3x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus and then a whole bunch of extra stuff. Okay, so what happens as x goes to 0? As x goes to 0, this x squared term dominates all the latter terms by far, right? For example, if x was 1 tenth, then x squared would be a hundredth, whereas x to the fourth would be 1 ten thousandth, and all these other terms would be significantly small. And so as x approaches zero, cosine 3x can be approximated pretty well by one minus 3x squared over two factorial. Right, now, why is that beneficial? Well, if we look back at the limit in question, right, we can think of 
instead of approaching it in the way we have here, or the way we have here, rather, with L'Hopital's rule, to substitute in the power series as our approximation of cosine 3x near 0, right? Where we say, hey, the x squared term is going to dominate the power series, so let's get rid of all of this superfluous junk. Okay, in other words, near 0, cosine 3x minus 1 all over x squared can be approximated by this ratio, where we take only the first two terms of the power series expansion of cosine 3x about 0. Right? Okay, and if we do that, we're left with a ratio of two polynomials of the same degree, and the negative 9 halves falls out immediately. So this is a fantastic way to save time on this test. Instead of using L'Hopital's rule, I'm substituting power series in for trigonometric functions. Now, a question you might ask is why use the quadratic term um, for the, the, uh, the quadratic approximation of cosine 3x? And the reason is because we have a quadratic term of the denominator. Right? So if you had something like a cubic term here, or a fourth power of x in the denominator, you might want to go further out in the power series because um, the approximation you have with an array denominator um, won't work in the limit. Okay, so a nice quick way to approach limits using Taylor series approximations of given functions to avoid L'Hopital's rule. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this to save you time on the GRE math subject test, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.